So if your car pulls to the left or to the right with some very simple tools, you can do your own alignment from home. Once you understand the concepts, you can work until your car drives straight again. And with these techniques, I've taken them down to the professional alignment shops and they've put it on their equipment and told me that it was aligned correctly. Well, let me go ahead and give you some of the details here. First, you wanna make sure that your steering wheel is perfectly straight. We can align kite string to give us that perfect guide. In order to give us a little bit of room to work underneath, we'll jack the car up and set it down onto some wooden blocks. In order to align the car, it has to be sitting under its own weight and the car needs to be level. Lifting the car up like this allows us to get underneath the car. That way we can reach the steering connection arms. You can add some oil to these stop nuts to loosen them up. Now we can line up our strings. I have found kite string works really nice. You'll need something like four jack stands. You'll put them in four corners of the car. Make sure the string is taut and goes right across the center of the wheels. The hubcaps flex too much, so you need to pull those off. Then with the hubs off, we can align right to the rim. You align the string to the center of each wheel. Sometimes I use sockets. In this case, I'm gonna use a tin can. The tight string will barely touch the can in the front and the back. Once the string is positioned, we can use calipers to check how the alignment is. Now the wheel should not be perfectly straight. Front of the wheel should be about a sixteenth of an inch toe in. The strings show us that we're out of alignment. We'll start with the steering wheel straight. Now you can see with the string, this wheel is straight. It's not toe in yet. The other side is actually toe out. In this video, we're only gonna be aligning toe in, not camber. The tire is wearing evenly, so it looks like camber's okay. So we'll loosen the lock nut on the steering arm. These lock nuts can be really tight. Just make sure you turn the nut in the loosened direction. If you look at a bolt and two nuts, this might help you see how this assembly is together. If you kind of use this as a model, you can see how the nut would spin off and get the right direction on the car. Once the lock nut is loose, you can start aligning the car. These lock nuts can be on really tight. A lot of people heat them up with acetylene and oxygen. That's why it's important to know what direction you're turning it. This bolt actually cracked the wrench. It's a cheap wrench, but still. Now with both sides loosened up, we can go ahead and keep aligning. It's nice to have one person under the car turning the wrench and the other one checking the string. And you want to keep checking your steering wheel. You want to make sure it stays straight. Here on this steering rod, there's a flat spot. Turning it in and out will adjust the steering. So when we're done, the wheels will be straight except a sixteenth of an inch toe in in the front. Every once in a while, you wanna shake the steering wheel. That'll get all the mechanical backlash out of there. You may have to adjust one side, then go to the other side. Then when everything's all done, you can tighten up the lock nuts a little bit, shake the steering wheel a little bit, then we'll do a final check on our strings. You want to make sure that when you're checking the string that you don't touch the string and get it to bounce. So it'll be a sixteenth of an inch toe in when we're done. This will be on both sides. Calipers are real handy for this. Now to see the sixteenth, you don't have to move the calipers in and out. You can see the string a little bit more in on one side. And with everything all tightened up, you can take it out and drive straight. And if it does pull to the left or right, now you know how to adjust it. That's how you do a front end alignment with simple tools. Well, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.